Hey guys, I am doing this video where I show you guys. Well, this is one of my um, um, fall DIYs, even though this is a summer DIY or any time of the year DIY. Um, I'm taking these string lights I got at Target. I showed in um, a haul before. I'm taking them and I'm going to paint them white so they can be free year round. And then I, it just makes more sense if I do that. And, um, <clears throat> sorry guys, I still have my cold. That's not going away. <laughs> I'm just gonna put like a notebook underneath. It doesn't really matter what kind of notebook. Just I'm gonna make sure like, all of them are white, and I'll paint this red one first. I have my. What you're gonna need is a paintbrush. This is obviously dirty and old looking. Um, from probably I think freshman year, like three years old, and this is what happens. And I have folk art paint. This is in um, parchment. I couldn't find my white, but. I don't think it'll be a big color difference in my mind. Um, I'm just gonna put this in here and just like show you guys what I'm talking about. And then, oh, this is a little clumpy. <laughs> um, it's to say like these are kinda old. But you just get any white paint and then I'll show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. And then I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna try doing like a speed version of this. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do one. And then you can watch the speed version. So the lights are in here and they're kind of like loose. Like the wood pieces are a little bit loose. Then again, these were $3. So here's what I mean. Like I mean like to kind of sponge it. You could even use a sponge actually. Just like sort of like blot it on. Even this looks kind of cool because this looks like rusted paint almost. It looks like, <gasps> yeah, it looks like a country chic. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just keep it like this. Um, oh, maybe the lights should be taken out? No, no, they're clamped on. Just avoid the lights. I don't know if paint can be on light bulbs. I'm not too sure. Um, my goal was to paint them completely white, though. That just, like, paint one side. And then, um, sorry if you guys hear my uncle in the background. He speaks, um, Italian. So. And then, um, after this... Um, I should be, um, going, I'm um, hopefully doing, like, um, like, a, a, a um, Halloween haul later, but, uh, in, like, one day, this is, like, what I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to do a Halloween video, um, and then bring my camera, it's not the best, but it's something, and it's better than nothing. See, so like, see how one looks? That's, like, my goal, I want to, like, get, oh, wait, yeah, light bulb. <laughs> um, is there, like, a way I can just go around this? I'm gonna just try to go clumpy-ish. Oh god. See that? See how clumpy that is? That's nasty. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> I have more paint downstairs. I just um, was trying to like for time's sake not. I was just trying to like save time from getting it. Oh, this is one sloppy mess. Sorry if I'm hiding it. Not really hiding it. Just like I'm trying to. The organization of my videos seems like a rush or chaotic, not planned, poorly done in my mind. Um, but it's all because homework has taken over my life. So there's no time to make videos, which I hate saying. But it's like. It's like my weekends are too busy. <clears throat> so, I mean, this is like what it's getting for. But you know what I'm talking about. Like, I want this thing covered. And my best bet is probably just to spray paint them with white. I might have in the garage. I might not. I have to check. I am not sure. Itchy and I paint my pants. Uh, has anyone else gotten sick yet? <laughs> That's like an odd question, I guess, but it is a question, I guess. I mean, I guess it's okay. It's like good enough. I mean, we're not trying to go for like crazy DIY or. Yeah, I mean, I love watching DIY videos and I'm getting so many ideas. Yeah, I hope this is okay. I want to try to do at least three DIYs in a video versus just 
what in my time wise I could have three videos out in a weekend if I just uh, if I just did like one each day but um, yeah I don't know just tell me guys in the, tell me in the comments below what do you guys prefer if I do like three DIYs in a video which probably would take and I have to film it like this so I don't audio sync because that takes forever and I don't have time on my hands like that. I don't know how YouTubers do it. Like, the ones that work, I have no freaking clue how they're editing their videos working. Like, nine to five jobs. I mean, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. At that time, it's like I explain this in my video of my update of, like, why videos are taking so long and whatnot. I'm having to, like, pre-make videos in advance just to upload them once a week. Because there's no time. It's like time is of the essence, but it's it's like complicated. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, once you go to college, you'll definitely understand what I'm talking about. Or like in my mind, if you go to art school, you'll like seriously understand what I'm talking about. But I can't just say like art school because like it's like a lot of schools. I know other schools that are non-art schools, and they give there's a lot of work. So. Um, it's not just my perspective. Yeah, I think I just need to spray paint the hell out of these things. I, I know I have silver in the ha in the garage. So, and this is like what? See the difference? One's brighter than the other. <laughs> I'm using parchment for one thing. Uh, <clears throat> um. Yeah, I don't know. This is my idea. It's like trial and error, guys. And if you get these too damp, they feel funny. I mean, I think it's because they're wood and, like, damp wood, but I'm going to let this dry, give it a second coat, and i got to clean the heck out of this light bulb before I have, like, a fire hazard in my studio. <laughs> Hope you guys like get the gist of what I'm talking about, though. So. Yeah, that is one of my DIYs I'm trying to do. I have, like, a whole second one of these. So, I, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm probably just going to spray paint them. Either silver or white, whatever one I have. I have with like I have a silver with a texture, like a concrete texture, but that is not gonna look as cool like, as what I want. Um, <coughs> I don't know. I could do like a rustic effect on all of these. Let me see if I can do a little blue one. And then after this blue one, guys, I got oh no, too much is coming out. <laughs> after this blue one. I have to end the video, but you'll be end the p talking part of the video, and then you'll see a speed art. Either I'll be outside spray painting this, or you'll see me painting. I don't know yet. <laughs> this is like how I'm making these videos in two parts. Just going around. Just trying to avoid the light bulb right now. I don't know, I'll show this to my mom. She might even think it looks great just the way it is. My mom does furniture too, so um, well, I don't do furniture. I mean, I, yes, I do actually. I do do furniture. No. I design, redesign furniture in the summertime. and uh, But she does it more. She does it year-round when she has time. And I only do it mainly in the summertime because school takes over. There's just no time. So I do smaller ones. Um, and I like painting. It's like therapeutic. It makes me happier. I like this even looks kind of oh I went over probably too much, but it's kind of cool ish uh, Yeah, so this is for the second one So this one's kind of started Let's see. Let's just get to this like let's just This is kind of going to mean like kind of Country chic when that like when it looks like paint worn like weather worn like the paint looks like it chipped off kind of that's what I'm talking about. You can even go like really subtle like this. I mean it's still kind of cool. I mean yeah. So what I'm talking about is like shabby chic, country chic. It's um there's uh, many different versions of uh, shabby chic. Um. But yeah, it's kind of like this, if you haven't seen what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I, I love it. I love seeing furniture 
when people shabby chic furniture because it's almost like a custom made furniture but it's actually custom painted so i find it really interesting and i actually have a style kind of of how i like to paint furniture and i um i'm inspired actually from a museum um from a museum a specific museum has specific furniture that i'm inspired by <laughs> so yeah but it's kind of like i try to follow work like that so this is the back of my notebook you probably might have seen i have a tutorial on how i got this notebook okay yes so that is my video for now hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you